This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you this week from Blue Loon Bakery, hosted by Old Hampshire Designs, a neighbor right across the street. And I'm now joined to one of our familiar friends here, Jay Tucker, the owner of Old Hampshire Designs. Hi, Jay. Hello. Thank it's you. great to check in with you every so often and hear about all the things happening in the design and home world. But first of all, tell people, uh, those viewers out there, about your, your business, Old Hampshire Designs. So Old Hampshire Designs has been in business for... Uh, 38 years. Wow, so, congratulations to you. <laughs> as Amanda mentioned, the, the marathon, I'm, I'm, I'm right in the middle of it. Uh, so <laughs> Keep running. We, we've been in business for 38 years and uh, have been located across the street uh, for the last uh, 20, 28 years. So we've wow. been quite a while. Wow, fantastic. And what do you specialize in for people watching? We do fine custom homes. Yes. That's uh, whether it's designed by Old Hampshire Designs or it's designed by uh, uh, an architect, either locally or somewhere else. Sure. Um, we, we've been able to take on any challenge that's been put forth to us so far. So. But you have the resources to to, to design it and then also see it executed to be created. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Which is a unique, a unique option. Design build is is pretty special to have that ability. We have two in-house design people. So, that is. Uh, it keeps us going, but we also like to work with architects. So yes. Tell us about some recent projects. I mean, talking about an architect that you worked with that wasn't in your firm. You just finished a big project that was cross, uh, yeah. cross t time zones, quite yeah. honestly. <laughs> yeah, we, we did a, a project up on Squam Lake, uh, and the uh, architect was Olson Kundig, who were, you know, kind of a world-renowned architect. and. We were fortunate enough to uh, meet up with them through uh, a, a local architect who recommended us. And uh, it was an interesting project, a very contemporary home that took place all through COVID. Wow. So it, it took three years to build. Yes. And uh, we're still waiting for a refrigerator 18 <laughs> months later. <laughs> I mean, what, you bring up a good point. I mean, one of the challenges that we have all faced in many, many industries during COVID is the fact uh, that there have been just delays amongst so many goods. And what are what are you experiencing still for uh, not only labor, but also goods and, and building yeah, supplies? So we're. We're working our way through it. Yes. It's, it's uh, a lot better than it was, mm. but um, you know, when things get back to normal, I don't know. I don't even know what normal is anymore. I know. Maybe it's the new normal, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, things like windows took two weeks to get, and then they took 26 weeks to get, yeah. and now maybe they're taking six weeks. So right. We're getting back to that. You're uh, seeing a little bit of a, ch a better change. Sure. Sure. Yeah. It, it's getting, you know. You have to order the windows before you design the house. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have the design finished, but you get yeah, to get windows, the windows. Right. Yeah, exactly. And a crucial part to designing the house, you need the windows. Yes. So, yeah. um, Talk about your employee base, because you always seem to be very uh, proud of your employee base, that you don't really have a lot of uh, shortage in, in employees. So we've been predominantly um, uh, subcontract all our, our sure. people out and we've worked with some of them for 38 years so we're very loyal to the guys that work for us yeah and uh, they're very loyal to us so it's not like they're running out looking for other work as long sure. as we can we can take care of them uh, the other thing that's kind of new about wh where we've been is that uh, we actually have five young craftsmen that are working for us great uh, four of them are out in the field doing finished work framing work and one is my son who's working in the design department and my other son works in the field. So I have two of my kids working for I us. love that. Keep it in the family, right? We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the design trends now at halfway through, honestly, 2023? What are some of the design trends that you're seeing in home building? Uh, I think that the last 10 years have been pretty, pretty consistent. Oh, I mean, really? Uh, 
you know, New, New England is New England, mm -hmm. and people still want their house to look like it belongs in New sure. England. Uh, I think the green building aspect has, uh, continues to, to expand, um, and the price of green building is you know, part of what everybody has to consider. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's ever changing, but I, I think that uh, it's been some stability in the design over the last 10 years. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell us about Timberpeg. So Timberpeg is a uh, post and bean manufacturing company. They're located in Claremont, New Hampshire. And my association with them goes back far beyond even my own business. I actually worked for them as my first real job out of college. I was their production coordinator. Fantastic. And uh, I have been selling their product for all this time. I'm an independent rep for them and uh, uh, found that relationship to be very rewarding and like to continue it for years to come. If you were to guess, how many timber peg homes have you built? Hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fantastic number over yeah. 38 years. I love that. Yeah. That's fantastic. If people are interested in learning more about Old Hampshire or even some of the things you've talked about, yeah. green building, for example, what's the best way for people to get yeah, in touch with you? The best way to find us is go on our website at oldhampshiredesigns.com and uh, there's pictures, it tells about us, and there's a uh, contact sheet as well. A so. beautiful website that you can see all your wonderful work at. <laughs> well, thank you. Jay, it's wonderful to touch base with you every so often and hear about all the trends happening not only locally in, in the design world and the build world, but uh, obviously you've done wonderful work to be in business for 38 years. So thank you for that and also thank you for always hosting a YCN special. Well, Abby, thank you for having us and Yankee Cable Network as well. Thank you. <laughs> what beautiful work from Old Hampshire Designs and a team that is so easy to work with. When we come back, we'll hear from one of their residential and commercial clients that Old Hampshire Designs has worked with. But first, another community-minded business that underwrites our stories. We'll be right back.